welcome to another video from AK Trapper. You know, uh, one of my favorite things about homesteading, and I've been doing this for well all my life, is uh, learning how to turn logs into lumber. And especially today with the high cost of lumber, plywood and everything, I find that I've been running my sawmills a lot lately. Anytime I want to build something, rather than go down to the lumber yard, I'll, I'll crank up the mill and, and make my boards. Um, but uh, one of the one of the problems with a uh, uh, running a, a bandsaw mill is uh, you get about four hours or so, and then you got to sharpen these blades. And I've been doing it by hand for a couple of years now, and uh, it's very time consuming and uh, not all that accurate because you're basically using muscle memory. So uh, I was looking at. Uh, um, building some kind of a, a blade sharpener and uh, I was kind of searching the internet and everything and I found one made by Hudson that was uh, you know it was affordable uh, they're using a chainsaw um, sharpener like an Oregon style chainsaw sharpener but uh, redoing the uh, the base plate to hold blades instead of chains and uh, I got to looking at that thing, I thought, well, that's simple enough. I could probably build something like that in a couple hours in my shop. And so I did. And I'd like to show it to you. Um, it really works slick. Uh, didn't cost me a thing. I just used some scrap metal I had laying around. And uh, um, I was kind of thinking, man, I sure wished I would have learned about this a long time ago. Could have saved myself a many, 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 many hours of uh, hand labor. Uh, if I would have had this machine. So come along and I'll, I'll show you uh, uh, my take on a, on a Hudson style uh, blade sharpener. Now any, anybody that runs a sawmill is probably going to have a, a chainsaw sharpener. Uh, this particular one is kind of a an Oregon clone um, but anyway the, all you have to do to uh, convert this into a bandsaw sharpener is make this plate and a, a couple uh, uh, I think these are one inch uh, pieces of eighth inch by one inch uh, stock on either side to sandwich the blade so that it can uh, it can come through and uh, and then you need an adjustable guide. And this is a piece of half inch all thread, uh, half inch nut here. This is a locking style nut, nylock. If I would have had another nylock, I would have put it on this end too, but I didn't. So I used to use a double nut so that I can um, jam them together here. And then you adjust this so that it'll just barely shave the uh, inside of the tooth. And, uh, and uh, sharpen, sharpen the tips again. Uh, works very slick. Uh, took me about maybe oh, two hours in the shop to construct this. It wouldn't have to be exactly these dimensions, but uh, I'll give you the dimensions anyways, just so you know. My plate is, uh, I believe that's 3 16th steel. Quarter inch would be better. And uh, I'm about five and five and three quarter, uh, 15 and a half. You can get by with a smaller smaller plate. This plate has a has a bolt welded to the bottom side, so uh, basically with a thread on it down here, so you can just put it on, attach it, just the same way you would with your chainsaw sharpener attachment here. And uh, I made this a little little heavier duty than um, the one that was made by Hudson because I figured you got to pull the tooth through and then you're going to pull it back. So there's there's some pressure there, and I didn't want any any move. I wanted it to be solid every time so that it returned to the same spot. So I'll go ahead and set it up here and grind a few teeth just to show you how how easily this operates. All right, needless to say, you need a good pair of leather gloves, um, some safety goggles, and I like to use a respirator too just because this thing does generate some dust. Here we go.
ago. Um, I did purchase um, a diamond impregnated wheel for this uh, um, chainsaw sharpener uh, a number of years ago. I can't remember what I paid for it. I think it was over $100 though. But I like to use that because the profile remains the same all the time and it uh, doesn't produce a dust that a, um, a regular stone would produce as the stone wears. Um, you need to uh, um, standard uh, angle the the set the cant is 10 degrees so you can adjust the, the 10 degrees on the back side well there it is um, hope you learned something if you run a sawmill uh, or a band sawmill um, you should have a chainsaw sharpener anyways it's just a matter of fabricating a little plate and uh, or you could contact Hudson possibly buy their plate right from them the whole outfit that they're selling is between five and six hundred dollars but if you've already got your own grinder, well, goodness, there's no, no need to buy another grinder. Okay, hope you, hope you enjoyed, learned something, and uh, we'll catch you on the next video.